Feast your ears on the sound and eyes on the letters. Phonological awareness is about the sound of language. It involves a group of skills. I am going to say the sentence. You have to count the number of words. When we teach students the phonics, we ask them to close their eyes, hands free, and just focus on the sound. An example of a sentence which is having alliteration in it. Yeah, four jumps on on. Yeah. The most sophisticated and last to develop is called phonemic awareness. Students understand that letter makes sound and sound and letter together make words. Together it helps students to decode the words, to read it and to comprehend it. Learning phonics enhances early literacy skills and gives children a head start at school. The word. The Okay, in the R. Which two letters will make a sound? I R. Listening is fundamental to language learning. Picture books, stories, rhymes, and songs are beautiful ways to develop listening skills. Mouse comes out of the hole. Do and understand is a collection of short stories to be taught in a methodical approach. Grounded in this philosophy, it is multi-sensorial, goes step by step, and is fun. It is a hole. Very good. And what is this? Mouse. Through do and understand, students develop a rich vocabulary, learn to comprehend stories, remember them, and present them in a creative manner. Readers are leaders. The benefits of reading are immense. However, reading as a skill needs to be taught and gradually developed. So today we are going to recite this poem, All Things Bright and Beautiful. Can you repeat? All things bright and beautiful. We carve out dedicated time for it daily where children are exposed to a lot of listening and are given opportunities to roll off their tongues at speed. We read a variety of poems, passages, short texts and stories. It improves the ability to read with speed, accuracy and proper expression. Eventually, this leads to better comprehension. We first do echo reading which is followed by choral reading and then partner reading. Without comprehension, reading is absolutely pointless, frustrating exercise in word calling. So this chapter basically it's about internal and external traits. Competent readers are able to understand the structure of the text. Furthermore, they make connections with the text and use background knowledge to make predictions as well as to visualize the same. Medusa was very proud of her beauty. So basically Medusa is very self-centered about herself. They also strive to combine the words, phrases and also strive to maintain the pace while reading so that they can convey the right meaning. They are selective uh, while they are reading. They might skip certain parts where they feel that there is a repetitive version of it or they might also reread the passage. At such stage, they may look up the meaning of the unfamiliar words or try to simplify the text. A beautiful term. Okay, so can you make further connections and help me understand? Good readers usually reflect on the text during and after reading by summarizing it drawing out the main points from it or by making connections to self and the world. Before you start writing, looking at the blank piece of paper staring at you can be scary. Friends, today we are going to do narrative writing. Writing process is a tool that allows us to break down the process into steps, organize our thoughts and refine our writing. 
I will think how should I start my story? What should I do? The key is to role model the process and gradually transfer the responsibility to students. As experts, we model our thinking aloud. They see us wondering, asking questions, struggling, analyzing options, applying steps, and synthesizing the story. It gives students a way to emulate. They understand it is okay to be confused. They get an idea about available techniques and resources and how to use them. After this, we allow students to practice the technique. We observe, consult and offer structured feedback. There is no magic pill that would help you to speak better. But students need to be put in such situations where they are required to speak in English to get better at it. We start small, practice conversations in class. They get to see role models, get a chance to imitate, practice and prepare. Then we give them the real platform and audience. Podcast, Reader's Theatre, TEDx, Monologue, Debates and Presentations are some of the great speaking opportunities students can get. When the students know their word is going to be heard, it matters to them. Reading is a fulfilling and nourishing experience for children. Books can open doors to the new worlds. But how to make your students interested in reading? Book testing is a great way to get several books into the hands of students. The classroom becomes restaurant. Each child gets a menu of books to browse through before choosing the one to order as their reading selection. For those beginning learners who have difficulty reading, we can include audiobooks. It can make for a great overall experience and initiate love for reading. The ability to use words to express our innermost thoughts is priceless and learning how to write will enable our students to communicate with the world in a more meaningful manner. How do you feel now that exams are approaching? Can you vent out your feelings? By expanding the audience for students writing beyond themselves, their classmates, their teachers and their parents we give students authentic reasons to consider and adjust to their readers. Students explore various forms of writing like writing a rant, a rap, a monologue, travelogue, podcast script and an opinion editorial. Writing for different purposes enhances their communication and thinking skills and in turn translates to them being effective communicators. Taking out all your feelings on a, paper, on a piece of paper, it is much better. Visual art is one of the most important tools of helping people to communicate. It has its own grammar and language. Can one of you summarize the theme by the society towards that girl? We teach cinematic techniques just the way we teach conventions of the English language. We use clips, characters, the color within the scene, music, and other essential nuances. The kids today are digitally advanced and they spend a lot of their time watching TV or surfing the internet, and hence, they understand cinema, they understand visual art, they understand music. A little teaching combined with their intuition brings it all together. Identify and examine one cinematic technique which was the most engaging and also tell me why. I found the animations engaging as like the opinions were turned into chains and as people had their own opinion they were like the chains kept increasing and it showed that how like a person's opinion can affect a person's life.
so as we discussed the structure of narrative writing i've shared one video with you and the link which you will be referring while writing the pre while doing the pre writing okay so you have two options one is the graphic organizer on which you will be doing the pre writing for salva story the second one is the Okay, so you can show that in the settings.